There are different degrees to how you can mod a game, so one of them is obviously just absolutely breaking it, things that are impossible and hilarious to watch, for some people at least. That is for example the infinity weapons, however, today there will be some modding, but it is all within the game, so it's nothing that is not possible, it's just so unlikely that you'll probably take weeks to do it. And yes, as you can see, Cherry Bomb. Now to understand, Cherry Bomb is an insanely rare weapon, right? And bone as well, so how did I get them? Well, I bumped up their weight and that is the only thing that I changed. They are now common weapons and I will do a special projectile focus build where we just try to get them as fast as possible and go absolutely bonkers. This is what I enjoy about modding, that you can do things that are otherwise just not possible. You would never ever see them or experience them. But what do I consider a special projectile? Well, pretty much everything that bounces within the screen. Other projectiles like Hellfire or Death Spiral, whenever they leave the screen they just keep going until they despawn. However, the weapons that we will have, once they reach a limit, like a wall or just the end of the screen, then they will bounce back and keep going. Which sounds amazing for a build that is centered around projectile speed. Now as I said, you can do that, however, we have three weapons with a rarity of one. Rarity, or how other people say it, weight, it's just in the code it's called rarity, determines how likely it is that a weapon appears when you have a level up. Common weapons are around 90 to 100, uncommon weapons I would say are 70 to 80, rare weapons are around 40 to 60, so for example Tiragisu and Skullomaniac, they both have only 40, that's why you rarely see them, and the birdies, as well as the guns, have a rarity of 50. But this is taken to the next level by Cherry Bomb, Carello and Bone. Their rarity is 1. So whenever you go for a level up, it takes all the rarities, bunches them into a big pool of around 3200 or so is the value, then it gets a random number and picks whatever it landed on. That's pretty much the reason why most people, or let's say a lot of people, don't even know that you can get these weapons on normal characters. Maybe they've seen it in a YouTube video, maybe they were lucky enough to experience it on their own, but let's just say it's quite unlikely that it happens. Even more unlikely, however, to get two of them and insanely improbable that you get three of them in a single game. As a support for the weapon, we have Giovanna. Giovanna gains 1% projectile speed per level that she has, which you might imagine makes them insanely fast since they can't leave. For Death Spiral this will be boring, it's just whoosh and out of the screen, but for these weapons we will have a fiesta of bouncing. And to further help them out I did add Moon and Crown to the build, since every single level up as I said 1% projectile speed and the more levels we have the better. We are also using the Awake Arcana, which means whenever we die I gain bonus stats, which is in the 4 stats over here, Might, Area, Speed and Duration. There are a couple more but we don't care about them. When I was working on the build, what I want to go for to showcase this, that you can have the experience of something you would not see otherwise, I wasn't sure if I should actually go for Moon or for another weapon, I decided for Moon, but one big question that I had was, do I go for No Future, so the evolution of Rune Tracer, or do I go for Rune Tracer? I decided against No Future for a simple reason. Let's say your weapon has a cooldown of 5 seconds, and it lasts for 10 seconds. A normal weapon will just fire every 5 seconds, and then it will last for 10 seconds. Makes sense, right? However, No Future is different in that regard. Like, it fires off, right, after 5 seconds, then it waits for 10 seconds, and once it disappears, it takes 5 seconds again just to reappear. That means you will never ever have overlapping projectile shots. So if the amount is 15, this is exactly how much you will get out of a run. Rune Tracer, however, works differently. If you have insanely high duration, it will just keep firing, firing, firing every single time it hits the interval of the weapon. And yeah, I think this is a lot more fun to do it that way. I'll just die a couple of times, I need to get rid of Tiragisu, I need to get rid of my revivals, and then we can start picking up the map bound items. If you want to do this for yourself, just to experience it for once, all you have to do is look for the modding guide on my channel, format the main file that you have to edit, I highly recommend that, otherwise it's super hard to do, and you just search for the weapon name that you want to change. 
there should be name written in quotation marks followed by the name of the weapon how it's shown in the game. If you see that in a list of attributes then you know you're in the right spot. Just change the rarity from 0x1 for example for bone, that is just a hexadecimal way of saying it's 1, to 100 to make it common. You can rinse and repeat that for other weapons and if you want to exclude weapons that they never ever show up, just put the rarity to 0 and you're fine. Now talking about this, I thought about something that I think would be amazing for the game. Sandbox mode. So, let's say you finish the game, you unlock Red Death, I'm not sure if I would want to lock it behind that, but maybe after you beat the final bonus stage or so. You unlock the sandbox mode and there you can do whatever you want to do. I think it would be good to have some limitations, so even though it is sandbox mode, if you can go fully crazy, you will just do it, at least I would do it, and once you did that one or two times, it's like, yeah, I, I did it now. You know, it's like cheating in all the gold in a game. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice that I have it now, but what's the point of playing now? I experience everything. So maybe some limitation would be good to have. But let's say you just go there and you see the weapon bone and it has a rarity of 1. And you can just set that to 100. Or, for example, let's say you don't want to have certain weapons in the game. Just set it to zero, it won't appear anymore. That would be amazing if you could do that. And, of course, for some challenges, they require a specific level 2 weapon. It would be amazing if you could say, the moment I level up the first time, I will get Song of Mana, for example, or Garlic, or Tract Orb, or whatever you need to have. I don't think it would be good that you could just plan out the next five levels or so, since you would just give yourself exactly what you want, but at least the first level that you get going would be good. And maybe the rarity that you can put in as maximum is limited to 100, so yeah, you can make it as common as a whip, as a magic wand, but you can't set it to 5000, so it's always guaranteed to show it up. I just made up a random high number. And I would be really curious to know your opinion on this. Like, I totally understand if someone would say, why do you want to make a sandbox mode if you then limit it? And the only argument I would have against it is, people don't really limit themselves, right? Like, if you can do something that you want to do, you don't really think about it too much, whether it's good or bad if you do it. You just do it. You want to do it right now. And once you did it, then you realize, uh, it was fun for once or twice, but that was it. It's a bit like Missing No for me, where in the beginning I had so much fun with the character and I played him 10-20 times within like a single day, and since then I haven't touched him. Only sometimes for update videos to get the bonus growth. And just as a small reminder why I have Crown and why I will use Pentagram, it's simple. More levels equals more projectile speed. Every single level up is 1% projectile speed on this character. And while I did mod the rarity of the weapons, technically speaking, this could all be done in vanilla, so nothing else has changed. It's just near impossible that you actually get to this scenario. And by the way, I'm not saying this to justify what I did, I don't care what someone does in their single player game, and I don't care if someone complains about that to myself. I mean, it's, it's a wasted comment slot, you know, when someone writes it, but whatever. I'm just saying that, that you know, yes, nothing else is modded about this and everything would be like this if you went for it yourself. Oh, I actually have to be careful, I just took so much damage ignoring that I don't have a revive left. Okay, can I, can I get in there? I think they're all dead, they deal a lot of damage so I have to be careful, there we go. And once I have all the weapons and passive weapons, I will talk a bit about how they influence each other. So what passive weapon works for what weapon? And some of them behave very differently to what you would expect if you see them the first time. Uh, all of my chicken gets eaten! Um, hmm. So I decided for this video, since we change with every single level up and slightly increase, I actually do want to show off more and not skip like one or two minutes from time to time. I know it will still happen, I have to cut out some stuff, and sometimes I just don't know what to say. There's nothing going on, so I just don't do something. But I'll try to skip as little as possible, so you can see this, right? It doesn't make sense to say, oh yeah, here's an experience that you wouldn't get in the game unless you reset for months or so. And then, yeah, and here's a skip for five minutes. Good that I said that and then I stopped talking. Hey, we are waiting for the Arcanas right now. They'll make this... They'll turn this to an entirely different crazy scale. And hopefully the first arcana that I can pick is the duration one. 
simply because it's 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 a simple one, right? It doesn't do a lot. However, it will cause that more projectiles are around. But the really crazy one will be the speed one. Why is Cross there? What? Goodbye. Yeah, I, 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 I thought I changed the rarity of that one to zero, but I guess not. Where is my Carello? Carello, there we go. Okay. So how about we take the time and talk a bit about passive weapon synergy. Duplicator is obvious for most of them, but one might be surprising to you. Whenever the weapons shoot out, whenever the interval is hit, it will just shoot out the weapons, right? That is an obvious point. That is how it happens. However, you see we only have one card, right? And the reason is the duplicator, the amount increase. Instead of sending out multiple cards, it increases the amount of times, I get it, amount, that it bounces. So there's one exception. Can't Labrador is simple. All of the weapons that we have, they just become bigger. Clover is quite interesting in this one. It increases the chance of the cats to have an interaction. The interactions are scratching you, attacking the enemies, fighting with each other. They just saw my chicken again. Fighting with each other and picking up items from the floor. And while you might say, why would I want my cats to be more likely to scratch? No! I don't know what's going on about this attempt. Don't worry, I'll skip to the part where we just quit. In case you don't know what happened there, the pentagram wiped out the chest that gave the arcana. And, like, I, I really don't know what's going on. This is, I think, the sixth or seventh time I'm recording it, where simple mistakes happened, like certain evolutions, I put the rarity to zero, and then they didn't appear. But that obviously means I needed to play for at least 10 minutes, and I thought just something was wrong in the game. Like, the chests don't work for some reason. And then I had a recording that went to like 27 minutes, where I then realized, oh, I'm muted, that's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, and the expert move. Uh, in one of them, I ran into the spellbinder at the bottom there, while I only had five pairs of weapons, and that was it. Because I can only take it, or I can discard it. Well, how do you prevent Pentagram from nuking your chests? You, you just evolve it. Okay, at this point it was not needed to evolve it, it was already guaranteed, but yeah, this is the solution. And there's the arcana that we missed the last time. Let's hope it's the duration one. Of course. Uh, of course. Uh, of course. Well, okay, let's go for the speed one right now. It's not that it's bad, in fact, it's a lot better. It would just be more hilarious to later, on 21, when we already have a ton of projectile speed, that we then see the difference with the negative 50 per- oh my god! <laughs> and this will only become more crazy! Oh no! But yeah, it would have been more fun there, but it, it's fine, it's fine, right? And all the experience to me, every single level up is 1% speed. So to understand the Arcana right, what they do is, they don't add 200%, so right now, Let's look at our speed, we have 120% right, they don't add 200% on top of this. What they do is, they take the 220% you have right now, so the base 100, right, that's the base, just how it is in the game. This is the bonus, so 220% in total, and they multiply this by 3. So in other words, right now we would reach 663 projectile speed, when it's at maximum. And this explains why it goes so crazy. Like, if it was only twice as fast, you would see that, but look at this, it's ramping up right now, look at this. And it's going more and more and more and... <laughs> uh, that's what we IT people call cybernet protection. Oh yeah, and I forgot, I don't even have Brazer yet. Let's get another 50%. Come on, come on, quickly level up, quickly level up. It's uh, Yeah, it's at negative 50% right now, or it's going down, there we go. Okay, okay, let's see how crazy this becomes now. It's building up, it's slowly building up, it's quickly building up. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so... I don't know, it's not stupid, you know, usually I would say stupid. It's not, it, it makes sense, but it's so... insane. And every single level up we get adds another 1% that is multiplied by 3, so 3% when it's maxed out. Do you understand now why I went for Moon for the bonus experience? 
Oh my god. Okay, so I know I said I don't want to make too many cuts, since it will take away from just experiencing something that you can't do without... Okay, you can do it without modding, but it's insanely unlikely. But I think a bit more fun is maybe to take a one minute break. Like every minute we take a one minute break, and then I get our old experience and we see this huge difference in speed, right? If it's just 3%, 1% per level up, it's nothing. You, you don't really notice it. It's kind of hilarious. Everything that enters this screen just immediately dies the moment it walks in. But it's also interesting, this has never been really apparent to me. Do you, if you look at the bottom, right? It it doesn't go to the bottom, <laughs> if you understand what I mean. There's a gap where it bounces off, while at the top it actually goes to the very top. Left side, also a gap, and right side, also a gap. That's weird. Oh! At the top is the experience bar covering it up. Ah, that makes sense. It's still a bit weird. Now someone said there's no clipping, where you walk through walls, is possible with Rune Tracer and Gatia Mari. However, I did this only with Gatia Mari in the past, but it was Infinity Gatia Mari, right? With infinite level ups. But I guess if it would work at any point, it would be now. So, someone else wrote, it's at these walls that you still see, when Firachi or a texture is overlaid. So, in this case, the cat's fighting. And I, it should work right now, right? I can't do anything. Oh, but do you notice, when I go to the left side, focus on the health bar right now, it, it moves. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, don't kill me. Yeah, but do you notice, it, it moves. M maybe this has something to do with it, but it's to the left side, it's not bottom. Weird. Ouch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. It's weird. Maybe in a special position. Maybe you need more. But, like, there's a lot going on right now. And I'm playing on the live version. I'm not playing on the F version right now that is in the beta. Oh, those were a lot of level ups. Yeah, and you can definitely see it. Let's wait until it goes down to the negative 50%. And once it starts ramping up, we take a look at it at the end. Come on. I know you want it. Oh, there it's going. <laughs> Did you see the card? <laughs> it's, it's going so slow, it's only like... Chik -chik -chik -boom. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Projectile speed is actually really bad for the card, right? It will just make it a very short-lived weapon. Oh, that would be quite interesting. Imagine on the library, or no, on a map where nothing is in your way. You create a wall of cards, and you make it in a way, like a, on a character that has negative movement, uh, projectile speed, or bonus movement speed, where you can still manage to walk next to it, and you create this huge line of cards that just kills everything, the moment it appears. And maybe you can even add Death Spiral and Hellfire. Hellfire is more complicated since it needs to shoot straight, which is very unlikely. But I think the bigger issue will be to line them up with the same speed. I don't think that's possible. I guess you could bend a card a bit earlier. But then you lose a lot of damage as well. No, I don't think that's worth it. But just imagine you actually take a kill record with this since you kill everything the moment it spawns. And someone looks at the video and just sees this, this line of card and death spiral. Okay. There's a few level ups more. There we go. Come on. That was it. Um, I guess we gotta wait for more enemies. Oh, I can't wait for the duration arcana. It will not be as good as the speed one, obviously, but it will just cause a ton more rune tracers being around. I can't believe they didn't even give a single level. Yeah, I don't know, Moon is... It, 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 it's a questionable weapon, to be honest. Like, it looks good, but you will just overlevel, so it's harder to kill the enemies, and... Like, you get to a point where you don't level up either way anymore. Right? Like, every single level up costs more. So, great that you le max out earlier. That's, that's great. But after that, you just keep making the enemies tankier. So your other weapons get less and less kills. And even the level ups from Moon here. Do you see that? It's one level. What is that? That's nothing. But yeah, the duration one will just help that more rune tracers are on the screen. As well as jerry bombs. I don't think it affects Carello. No, it doesn't affect Carello, since it can go infinitely. But yeah, bones, rune tracers, cherry bombs, and cats. 
Imagine hitting 200% speed and 200% duration at the same time. And I'll try to line this up. When the Carello is super slow, I will pick up the Arcana chest so we start at negative 50% on both at the same time. And level up! There, there was again it, just one level. What's the point? It would actually be more beneficial level wise to now have a weapon that just kills more enemies, right? Like Thunderloop or so for levels. That's actually hilarious. Oh, it's super slow right now. Quickly pick it up. It's not on point. It's close enough. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, duration. Perfect. Okay, so... Will this become any more crazy or is it just... You know, that's it. Let's see. It's slowing down again, I think. No, I'm actually not sure what's happening. It almost feels like they are off. As if duration started at 200% or so. Like earlier almost everything disappeared, well not that extreme but almost, and now, well it's, it's still amazing, but like, it's, it's weird. Why is it all purple suddenly and blue? That looks great, but why did that happen? Has this been the case for the entire time and I just didn't see it? Like there's so much purple right now, do you see that? Could it be that the color of the Rune Tracer changes based on its duration? And now that we got the Arcana it constantly changes? I don't know, something feels different at least. No, oh, stop shooting at me. I'll just stand still, I'm safe here. Okay, I'm not safe here. Uh, maybe here? Okay, oh, nah! Come on. I see the exclamation marks, but it, it's not really where it lands. It's like slightly above. I hate this wave so much. Stop shooting at me. Nah, but this is absolutely insane. Just look at this. We are about to hit bonus 150. Okay, l let's just take a look at the stats after the level ups here. Really? 200. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not accepting this. 250% bonus speed. With the Arcana, this hits 750%. That's absolutely crazy. And you can do this entirely unmodded in your game. Like, this is not modded. And the most insane part about this is it's entirely unmodded. Like, you can do this in your game. Oh, but you change the rarity of the ra Listen here! What does this change about the outcome? Oh, I'm sorry, I Germanized there. Oh, yeah. That hurt my throat. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the crab god spawns. The crab god. I'm actually a bit concerned with him since he just walks. He doesn't care about anything else. Oh, the drowner. I need a rosary for the- No, wait a second, I have an idea. <gasps> hey guys, hey guys. Buy my game of bath water. <laughs> oh. Oh. You destroyed my plan. What? What is going on on the bottom right there? Those were some huge claws. Well, one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so... The thing is... <laughs> Carello. <laughs> just focus on the Carello when it goes super fast, it's hilarious. It's just like, I'm alive! <laughs> Already exploded. No, it, 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 it's really insane, like you can do this just with Rune Tracer. The, the rest doesn't even matter. In fact, I want to see the damage at the end, which weapon did the most damage. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Rune Tracer, just look at this. This is insane. It's covering everything. Um, well, okay, actually, Gatia Mari might top that. I'm not sure, well, or... Mm, cherry Bomb explodes also all the time. No, I don't think Cherry Bomb can top this, but it's either gonna be Gadiamari or Rune Tracer. For sure. Oh no, it's gonna be Moon. Okay, we don't count Moon. Moon will have like 67 million or 70 million damage, simply because it killed the Drowner. And the Drowner has 650,000 HP times our level at that point. It's a bug in the game, it's not supposed to do that, it doesn't do that with death, but for some reason for him it applies. And the bug is, like, the weapon, so generally how it works, the weapon doesn't have damage, it has a skill that always deals the max HP amount to the enemy. So if the enemy has f 50 million health, it will deal 50 million damage. If the enemy has 50 million health but is down to 20 million health, it will still- Ooh. What are you doing there? Stop it, step bro. I'm stuck. Uh, uh... So even if the, 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 the health is down to 20 million, it will still deal 50 million. But since Drowner can only die by 
Uh, it's Moon and Rosary. Yeah, only those two it can die to. I'm not sure what happens with Pentagram. It might do nothing at all, like nothing changes, or it just always erases him. And by erases I mean he doesn't give a chest, but I think Pentagram doesn't work on a Drowner at least. It's also the only way to get this crazy value. So again, Pentagram might also work. In fact, it even works on the Drowner that spawns at 30 minutes. He can't be killed, but every single time you blast off, it applies the 650k times your levels. So if we reach level 200, yeah, that will be a solid 200 million every single blast. Even every single of these bling, 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 bling it's doing. All of those would count as long as it hits the Drowner and not the uh, Red Death. Okay, this is amazing. This was so satisfying to walk through this. Oh my god, what is Rune Tracer doing there? This one in the middle. <laughs> Wait, how long is the duration? That was like the first time we could actually see the duration. That was insane. Yep. Yeah, this will not be a lot of levels. It, uh, wait, did my did my experience just lower? No, I must have dreamed that. It looked like it went to the right and then it went back. No, I dreamed that. I dreamed that. Like, there's so much going on on this screen that they, you just start imagining things. Also, why is Gatia Mari for, forming this... Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was about to say, why is it forming this uh, vertical line? But it, it's, it's good, back to normal. Oh my god, they died 126k kills! Okay! And that actually with a horrible kill build. Like, Bone is not good for killing, Carello is horrible. Jerry Bomb is early on amazing, later on it really sucks. And I didn't focus on it early on, right? I only got it later on. And and still, 127k. Yeah, this, this Rune Tracer is busted. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Oh my god. We might actually hit the Trowner another time with the next Moonblast. Oh no no no, I calculated 15 seconds for some reason, thinking I was Christine. I'm obviously not. Yeah, we will just die here immediately. There we go. Well, 107 million or gorgeous moon, we don't, we don't count that. Carello... <laughs> I was first thinking it actually was on the same level as Gorgeous Moon somehow. <laughs> I saw the case missing. Okay, the rest is as expected. 15 million from the cats. Bone was actually really good. Bone was better than Rune Tracer. What?